guys. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, da, 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 da. Yeah, da, da, da. Ah. Hey. Hey. Hey guys, it's Jason and welcome back to my channel. So this week I wanted to do for you the My First Time Theater Edition tag. So I saw this tag a little bit ago and I really, really wanted to do it. So I finally have some time and I'm just gonna sit down and record and actually do it. Otherwise I'm gonna keep putting it off and then I won't have a video to post on Friday today. So forgive the fact that I look awful. Um, I just got home from rehearsal and it was a really long day. I'm really tired and I look like butt, but whatever. I'm still going to record this video. So I have the questions here on my phone and I'm just going to go through them. I haven't really read them. I saw a video, but I don't really remember all the questions. So we're just going to see what happens. The first question is first musical you saw. I think the first musical I remember seeing is the national tour of The Lion King. I was really little and my mammy took me to go see it. And I remember being really amazed by all of the animals coming through the house. Um, it was just really, really cool. So I really enjoyed it and I liked it. I lied. The first musical I saw was the recorded version of Cats, like the one on VHS. I don't know if that really counts, but that's what really sparked my interest in theater, so that's my answer. The next question is, first musical you performed in? So the very first musical that I performed in was a musical called It's Saturday in the fifth grade, and it was all about the weekend, and it was really fun, and I still remember some of the choreography. I won't do it, it's a little embarrassing but I do remember it, but I don't really count that. I usually say that the first musical that I ever did, because it was the first musical that was like good, I guess. I did Willy Wonka Jr. when I was in sixth grade, and I was in Oompa Loompa. When I first moved to New York, my dad and I were walking through downtown, and I was trying to show him like my school and a couple other places, and I just remember him looking at me and saying, who would have thought being an Oompa Loompa would lead to all of this? The third question is first Broadway crush. I don't remember how far back I started really following closely along to Broadway stars to have a Broadway crush. Um, I do remember Broadway crushing on Jeremy Jordan because, let's be real, who doesn't Broadway crush on Jeremy Jordan? Question number four is first lead role. So I was a supporting character in 13. That was my first time having like a named role but my first lead was when I was in eighth grade and I was in You're a Good Man Charlie Brown and I was Charlie Brown. Question number five is first dream role. I think my first dream role was Mark from Rent. Um, I think it was the first role where I knew the songs and I could sing them and it was a boy. Before that I really liked all like the girl songs. Yeah, definitely Mark in Rent was a dream role. I don't know how much of a dream role it is anymore. I would like to do it but I don't think that like it would make my world to be Mark and Rent. The first play I saw. I think the first play that I saw was Deadwood Dick. It was a play that they did in my high school, so I think that's what it was. Um, but yeah. Question number seven is first play you performed in. The first play that I performed in was Up the Down Staircase at my high school when I was a junior. Um, it was the only play that I did in high school, and up until recently, it was the only play I ever did. Other than that, I had performed primarily in musicals. Up the Down Staircase is all about a teacher in New York City, and she comes into this school, and in the school, all the kids are kind of troubled, I guess. Like, they act out, they don't really behave well, and she just kind of comes in, and she's patient with them. She kind of brings everyone together in the end, and everyone really likes her, and they the kids start to get excited about school, and all that kind of stuff, and yeah. Question number eight was first Broadway show I saw. I think the first Broadway show I saw was Bullets Over Broadway. Question number nine is first stage kiss. My first stage kiss was in Hello Dolly with my friend Rose Vic. I was Cornelius and she was Miss Malloy, and we had a little kiss moment in the end. Question number 10 is first moment when you realized you loved theater. It was when I was having a conversation with my friend Kayla and we were just talking about the future. I don't know how, but it just hit me. Literally like a ton of bricks just hit me and I was kind of overwhelmed with this feeling of the love of performing. And all I wanted to do from that point on was perform and I just kind of dove headfirst into it 
and I haven't looked back since. So that's kind of a weird answer, I guess, but that's my answer. Question 11 is first school musical. So I pretty much did all school musicals until I started working professionally. So I guess I'll do middle school and high school. My first middle school musical was Willy Wonka, which was also my first musical. And my first high school musical was Seussical, which is all Dr. Seuss and fun. We actually did children's theater with that show. So I think we had like eight or 10 performances of that show, which was really uncommon in high school theater because usually we do four performances. Um, but we did in-school performances for all the elementary schools around the county and then we also did out-of-school performances for parents and other schools and the students and all that kind of stuff. Question number 12 is first non-school musical. So my very first non-school musical, which was also my very first professional show, was a production of a show called Freedom Found. I was a dancer and I was an understudy to the lead, Jake. Question number 13 is first summer show. I never did like summer camps for theater. Like a lot of people did like those theater camps where you put on a musical. I never did that. I did a summer intensive in New York City one year, um, but we didn't really put on a show. So my first summer job is actually going to be this summer. I'm working up in North Carolina at Lee's McRae Summer Theater and I'm doing Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat and Legally Blonde the Musical. I'm really excited for those shows. I leave in a couple months and I couldn't be more excited for this opportunity. Question number, question number four. Question number 14 is first crush on a cast member. I think I've had a crush with at least one person in every cast I've been in, as bad as that sounds. Yeah, whatever. And question number 15 is first major on stage mistake. So my first major on stage mistake was when I was doing a production of 35 Millimeter by Ryan Scott Oliver. I was in the middle of singing one of my solos and all of a sudden, I just got lost in the music and I really didn't know where I was. And I don't know what happened, but I just went silent. Like literally, like I just stopped singing and I was like looking around and I was like, which was kind of fine because I was singing Crazy Town and in Crazy Town, the character's lost in this like psychotic world and he doesn't know what's going on. So it kind of looked like I was supposed to do that and my cast members behind me started singing to help me catch up. So, whoops, it was really embarrassing and it never happened again because after that happened, I was like, go home and you need to re-rehearse that song and you need to relearn it and listen to it in the car and ah! So it was one time, um, but that's live theater for you. Um, you make mistakes and you move on. All right guys, well that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to let me know in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up. And also make sure to subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. I post new videos every single Friday. I will also leave links to all of my social media below. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, add me on Snapchat, all of it. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. All right, bye.